Dracaena marginata, also called dragon tree, is a hardy popular houseplant. It comes in several variegations of leaf sizes and colors. Some leaves are thin with deep green and red edges, reaching 35 inches long and 3 inches wide. It is a slow-growing plant that can take many years to reach full maturity. It is popularly grown in offices as it doesn't need much care and the consistent heat and light is suitable to its growing needs. Often mistaken to be palm trees, they are also useful in eliminating harmful compounds from indoor air as found by NASA. Although they can thrive and grow well in various lighting conditions ranging from direct sunlight to indirect bright light, the plant tends to grow slowly in low lighting situations, producing smaller leaves. The plant is more drought tolerant than other plants, so watering should be done when the soil dries completely about a three weeks gap. Overwatering makes the soil waterlogged causing root rot to develop and spread to the stems. Water less in winter. Tap water can contain chemicals that can harm plants, so it's best to allow it to stand for a minimum of 24 hours to let these chemicals evaporate. Dragon trees can thrive in ordinarily household humidity levels and can benefit from occasional misting. Low humidity can attract pests to the plant. It requires a temperature range of 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and can handle a low of 65. Below that, leaves will start dropping off. Dragon trees usually don't have to be fed as it's not essential for growing this plant. However, a light feeding at the beginning of spring with an all-purpose liquid fertilizer will give it a boost in growth. But never feed the plant in winter when growth begins to slow down. It is very poisonous to pets, causing vomiting, weight loss, and other symptoms. While it isn't toxic to humans, it is recommended to keep the plant out of reach. Repot the plant if the soil becomes too condensed or if the plant gets root bound. This plant grows very slowly and usually requires repotting once in two or three years. Water the plant well at least one day before to wet the soil and shake off much of the old soil as possible. Cut off any long leggy stems near the soil surface. Propagate the stems in water with regular water changes. Wait for roots and leaves to begin sprouting, which is usually about 3 weeks. Once the roots are long enough, plant the cuttings in pots. Pruning helps prevent the plant from becoming too tall and leggy, which helps the plant grow more branches. Trim any yellow or dead leaves. Snip off any parts of leaves that are discolored. Mist and wipe leaves now and then to keep them free from dust. If the plant is over water, its leaves will develop brown tips or become soft and brown. If the leaves turn yellow or gets brown spots, it usually indicates that the plant hasn't been getting enough water. This is a hardy plant, so make sure to water it every three weeks. The bottom leaves of the plant turn yellow and drop off as the plant grows. This is normal. If you notice leaves dropping off or turning pale, it is an indication that either it's getting insufficient light or it's too cold. Transfer the plant to a better lit or warmer location. The plant can occasionally be attacked by insects like mealybugs and spider mites. Keep a bottle of neem oil ready as it's an excellent for pest control. Soft rot is a fatal condition caused by bacteria that leads to brown soft spots. This happens when the soil becomes waterlogged due to overwatering and this problem cannot be treated.